ट्वेंटीज द एज टू लर्न एक्सप्लोर क्रिएट एंड टू बी फ्री बट आवर जनरेशन ऑल्सो फील्स अ टैट बिट प्रेशर्ड एंड लेटली इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू फाइंड इंस्पिरेशन अमॉन्ग्स्ट ऑल दिस प्रेशर एंड दैट्स द आंसर वी कैन फाइंड टुडे To be honest, the biggest problem I face is the resistance. The resistance to just get started and take that first step. The step where I get past that procrastination phase and start creating. But first, you definitely got to look the part, right? My first step is to do the most mundane things. Go to places that I like so that it does not feel like a task. So I begin the search of finding something that tinkles my brain a little bit. Invokes the will to create, get past the overthinking and get things done. And once I find the first piece of the puzzle to that inspiration, that's when the creative juices start flowing. And if you watch my past videos, you know, most of the time it's either me trying to challenge those quotes or those quotes or those people who said them. invoking something deeper within me but that is not without its own set of flaws my process is always accompanied with some distractions phone calls client emails second or third coffee of the day and so on although i'm a firm believer of the more relaxed you are the more creative you can get but more often than not i have to always back it up with the intention to find inspiration otherwise it just won't happen i always had a weird relations with idea i always thought they were kind of a guest appearance in the movie until i read this i only create when inspiration strikes but luckily inspiration striked every day at 9 am i mean once i read this i was sure discipline is one of the key characteristics to be inspired continuously And if you look at the graph, with you being disciplined and the frequency of inspiration striking you, as compared to the opposite, you'll see the difference. I mean, so simply put, what discipline allows you is to be intentional. You know, I've always found inspiration is always hidden a layer beneath. It's not that difficult to find, but it's hidden a layer beneath, and it becomes very easy to go out and look for intent for inspiration when you're actually intentional. And that's one of the major differences i have found across even in my case whether i was building a business or youtube the moments when i'm more intentional and more disciplined the results are much better as compared to just not looking for it and waiting for inspirations to strike because more often than not it doesn't doesn't strike automatically i've seen inspiration can be found in even the most everyday experiences In my case just the intent was enough to get over resistance and I feel that's the scenario with most of the people the intent to do something is actually the first step to get inspired You know, even drawing from my own experiences, being intentional about it has ultimately led to a form of habit building. That habit is difficult to break because once it's ingrained, it's there to last. But in spite of that, there have been countless number of times when I've been entirely clueless. I mean. However intentional I try to be, it just doesn't strike. There's this phenomenon we creators tend to push ourselves into. 
it's known as analysis paralysis i mean the more you think about it the more deeper you keep digging that grave of endless confusing thoughts and don't knowing what to do i mean take my last video in this case i almost didn't upload it i didn't know how it was turning out to be digging myself into that deeper hole thinking okay is it good is it not good and all that ultimately is the most viewed video on my channel apart most of you guys who are watching this video are because of that one video that i uploaded it's your life and it has to be your peace no one else can decide for you and it's something that's taken me a while to understand but now it's the most important thing i could have told myself finding out the sweet spot where in orderly balanced in terms of work but also you can sustain it for a longer time it feels the most important thing you can do for yourself also one thing i do is i keep a small book with myself all the time i write down my goals that i want to achieve which are little bit pushing towards more than achievable and are on the shorter term because i like to take it one day at a time otherwise it gets a uh, cumbersome and pressure creating so that's generally what i like to do and i always keep that book with myself because that's also the book where i keep where i keep writing all my thoughts and all my inspiration that keep on striking in the everyday mundane moments because i don't know if it's just with me but it's like a tube light i mean it just flickers for a very short period of time and if you don't make a note of it you might tend to forget it which i more often than not do that's why i don't let that book go out of my sight everything and anything that happens i just put a note on that whichever i feel might help me create more and more in this journey to sum it up being intentional about finding your inspiration adding discipline to it so that you won't even realize it before it becomes an habit and once you have that habit it just motivates you enough to keep creating and keep going about it and even if there's there are sometimes so you just don't feel like it don't forget it's your story it's your pace and it's your narrative there'll always be a lot of people who'll be interested in coming along with you in that journey as long as you are there to tell it